Also tonight, a town hall meeting in Gloucester that turned ugly. People had their phones out with cameras rolling when it happened. This happened earlier this month during a discussion about a bond referendum. You can see two men get into the scuffle with one of them wrapping their hands around the other person's throat. Nobody was hurt, but some serious charges followed. Only on 10, Amy Avery walks us through the chain of events. County leaders say this was something that was so unexpected. They say sometimes meetings get a little heated, but not like this. Which town hall meeting was for all the citizens that wanted to come out to voice their opinions, and that's just not what happened. It just escalated. This video obtained by 10 on your side shows Gloucester County citizen Lawrence Cohen choking the county attorney. Gloucester County deputies were called out to the town hall meeting at Page Middle School on October 4th, just before 9 p.m. Deputies say following the investigation, Cohen was charged with assault and battery. I'm trying to get a question Mr. Out Cohen, Mr. Out. Cohen, you need to stop bullying the staff. I mean, that was completely unexpected. We had citizens were there talking and asked questions, and it just escalated out of control. County Administrator Carol Steele says these meetings are for citizens to be able to ask questions about the projects, where their tax dollars are going, and get the correct information out there. Citizens and social media and all kinds of other things that play into that um, have provided additional information outside of what we have said. And um, I think some of the information that has been out is not accurate. Also have citizens that are hearing the answers. They don't want, that's not the answer they want to hear. So they continue to spout misinformation. Steele and Hudson say following the outburst, the board has had conversations about adding more security at meetings. I think the times have changed and we probably should have that security at any of those meetings just as uh, an extra precaution. And we still want to have town halls. We still want people to come out and whether they disagree or agree and we want people to voice their opinions, it just has to be done civilly. We went by Cohen's house today to see if he wanted to share his side of the story, but he didn't answer. We also called and texted him as well. His next court date is set for next Wednesday morning at 815. In Gloucester, Amy Avery, 10 on your side.